Hello there everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we uh, did the probably the most annoying side quest in the game, in my opinion. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the Solosium matches that we still need to do. We did the first one a long time ago, about 50 parts or so ago, maybe even more. Maybe less. Um, but it's time we, you know, take those on. Now, something I just want to mention you're not going to be getting any EXP for these battles. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm still going to put Marcus in here just because, like, his familiar pref preference is better. Um,. In fact, this is how I'm going to be setting up the familiars. Well, actually, uh, this one has no relevance at all. But um, I, I just want the strongest out front so the AI is more likely to use it. Um, is there anything else I want to do? Um, I also went off screen to the... Uh, what's it called? The Tombstone Trail Casino. And I got quite a few crown berries um so i um i want to make one princess chocolate just to raise cosmos attack a little bit plus his familiarity um unfortunately i don't have any sour grapes right now so i can't really raise um wambo's agility or Go goes for that matter. Um, I can make these, um, which I mean, I might as well show what they look like. Yay! I think I've actually seen a couple of these though in the game, but this is how you make them. Um, the big babanas and the crown berries are what you can get at the uh, Tombstone Trail Casino if you didn't know that. So let's just see how it benefits Cosmo. It ought to get his familiarity up. Yes, it does. But now, getting it up, getting t getting the familiarity to go up even more is going to be really annoying now. Um, I mean, I don't have a familiar on my other file that, like, you know, has that. Oh, hey, I do have a Tutti Frutti ice cream. YOLO! <laughs> his evasion is going to be way too... Uh, oh, my God. It increased by... Two? Yeah. Okay. Um. Then you can raise the magic defense. Um. That's probably going to be the one that I use to raise the magic defense with. Um. Okay. My guess is that you like defense. I don't know. No. You do you like chocolate too? If that's the case, then that's too bad. Oh well. Hate to say it. It's, well, I mean, I can give it, like, milk chocolate, but I don't want to give it, like, anything good, because I want to save that for Cosmo, like those snowdrop bonbons, which you make with, uh, two caramels, uh, a fairy chocolate, and a snowflake, I think, I think that's the formula. Um, so I just wanted to raise his attack a little bit before I head in here. Yes, I do. So now we can enter rank D. Um, obviously we can't do any of the other four until we do rank D. So, let's do this. So, um, I think that guy will heal you, but that doesn't really matter. Um, what's important is getting into the battle. Oh boy! Grimalk and Reapers. What the? You're cats. Okay. Whatever. Oh, boy. I'm so frightened. All right. Well, we got the good one. So, you know, this ought to be easy. Yeah, this one's going to be easy. Trust me, though. Rank 6? That one is... I mean, not 6. S? That one is tough. Um, 
I still haven't done that on my main file either, so, you know. That's what I plan to do today, though, is to just get that done, so I'll, I'll have, like, everything that I haven't done on my main file done. So then I can just do what I need to do on here, which, is, which isn't much. There's only one more quest after this. Ah, uh, and this isn't even a quest, so, you know, um, whatever. Alright, I'll defeat you and your fish things, the cover girls, okay. What a pleasant name. Uh, I'll take out the splisher first. I, I think I need to change my tactics. Um, let me do that real quick, because I think... Yeah, Esther's on don't do anything. So is Oliver, but I highly doubt that uh, that's going to make a difference. Because I'm going to be using Cosmo most of the time. So I don't think it truly matters. Perhaps later, what I might do is set it the tactics to attack the same enemy. I thought I signed off a PSN, damn it. I don't... I don't like those pop-ups, especially when record. I mean, they're okay, but when 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 you're recording, it's really annoying. I, I think I know what happened. I signed out while I was playing a different game, and then that's what did it. Hey, you're the. I think I remember you, but I. Are you the kid from Ding Dong Dell, or is that somebody else? So, you have a turtle a squirtle shell razor okay uh won't be hard it's bracing for our attacks but it's not going to do much when we're wombo comboing it oh yeah yeah rank i'm way too op for rank d right now probably even rank c to an extent but i don't care neato so this one's done I win. Yes, it's true. Rank D cleared. Do I get a reward for this? Or just the satisfaction of knowing I cleared rank D and that I can now do rank C? Yeah, it is. Especially when you got a giant ass turtle. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Freaking loading screen. Oh, I do get a prize. Hot blooded badge and money. Yeah, I kind of spent a lot of money on tokens because I was lazy. Um, so, let me just see what said badge does. Increases movement speed. That's... That's pretty good. I'll do that. Yeah. It's much better than what he had. I don't even know. I think it was this that he had on. but yeah, This raises his attack and magic attack, so I don't mind using bringing it to him uh yes i would like to go to rank c i haven't used a single bit of magic yet um probably by rank a that'll change <coughs> sorry about that i've had a th frog in my throat all of a sudden i don't know where it came from but whatever hopefully i don't continue coughing throughout the rest of the recording that would be annoying we're already at 10 minutes what Whatever, you tree-hugging fellas. Whatever. And you have really weak familiars. I should be able to, like, wombo combo these guys, no sweat. Yeah. Looks like that's... <laughs> Wambo! <laughs> Wambo just about did it all himself! Wambo's about to do it all himself! And you're doing heavy... I almost said heavy rain. And I haven't played that game in a while. But I liked it. That was easy. When Wambo's doing the same amount of damage as Cosmo, you know things are going well. That or the en enemy is very weak. One of the two. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. Go back to the forest. Uh, hey, it's these guys, the three twins. When, I 
Uh, I thought, is twins just like if you have a twin? Or if it's like triplets, is that just... Are you? I guess you're still twins. I don't know. I'm an only child. I have no idea. I really don't. Anyway, Sprout Sprite. Let's do this. Crosswind. Oh, no. No crosswind because I went all out already. And it's using healing tier, which is useless. Right now. Get... <laughs> that was a wombo combo right there. I mean, they all just plop. Alright. So we're actually halfway done with the Solosseum matches. No. No, we will be once we finish this one with the little automator. Who are you? Who's this guy? I don't even know who you are. I'm of course I'm going to triumph over you, especially when all you have is an enemy that we see in the ivory Okay, apparently that's not what we see in the ivory tower, but it can't be that bad. Oh god. Apparently, I my physical attacks don't work. Time for Mornstar. Darn you, Beam Man. <laughs> that didn't do anything. That was awesome. 6 1, 6 19. Uh, and it's still nowhere near done. That's. That's great. Well, another Mornstar. And I might actually go back to Cosmo. I don't. Well, okay, Esther. Esther. You gotta get your crap together. All you gotta do is a crosswind, I bet. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I take it back. Maybe a water spout? I don't know. Okay, not much better, but it killed it, so I'll take it. Okay, that's that's always good. Always good. <clears throat> so we're done with rank C. We only have B, A, and S to complete cool well when you're not when you're barely a character in a game nothing you make is invincible let's face it okay so we got a suit of dress armor and 10,000 guilders sweet um what familiars do I have that can equip armor this guy uh, I've already gotten dress armor before, okay. Whatever. Uh, nothing I want to change. Let's go to rank B. So, oh god, they start adding four rounds once we get to rank A. But let's, let's just, let's just do rank B first before I worry about that. We're actually making pretty good time. If I wasn't taking so long in the beginning, then we'd probably be even closer by now we might not even have rank B done if I wasn't mumbling on so whatever the Tom T and twins fun I bet the fire thing will yeah it will I have the Sasquatches you know what I don't get this has nothing to do with this, actually, but, um, the fact that getting familiars, like, as party members can be kind of annoying, but when it comes to familiars I've wanted to get in this LP, aside from the banana thing, I've actually had decent luck. I mean, I got the fire fry real easily, I remember. Um, I got Cosmo really easily. Um, are there any others that I wanted? I mean, I remember not having that big of a problem with the rest of the Derwin quest. It's just they took forever because I, the main problem was finding the enemy. Oh, boy. They have lampshades in their lives, followed by example. Um, but, anyway, like, 
But yet, now I'm like, I kind of just want to get some random familiars. Just, just cuz. And I'm not getting any of the ones that I kind of want to get. Like, any of the brand new familiars. I'm getting like all these repeats. Like, when I was in the area to get the Kaleida Stones, I, I think I got like... A few of the same enemy like it probably a turban legend or two um, or at least they wanted to join and like in the scrolls of truth area you know I kept recruiting ghosts when I didn't want to because I already have some that I've yet to even level the fireworkers who are you yeah, why are they made to fight? I want an actual challenge in rank B. Ah! What the hell? Not another one? No! <sighs> and the, the poor Firefly. Oh. Uh, whatever. I don't know. I I just don't like Magmatum. And that did nothing. You suck. Again, I'm like probably way too I am way too over leveled for this part, I'm not gonna lie. I mean I'm level eighty, Cosmo's level eighty-four. I mean what what do I have to worry about? You know? Sweet, already done. Okay. That was kinda cool, I guess. But that was really quick. I got most of them done in a matter of eight minutes. See, this is why you save annoying things like this till the end of the game. <laughs> okay, well, okay, I don't care. We won, so leave. Go make more fireworks or something. Anyway, oh, shoot, whatever. So, get a Harrow Fang and 15,000 Gilders. I've the Harrow Fang, we've gotten quite a few of those, so I don't really care what it does. Uh, let's just... I'm ready for round... For rank A. I mean... Rank A is... Awesome. That's what the A stands for. Awesome. But now, there's gonna be four battles. So hopefully I can finish this within 30 minutes. Maybe 34, because I, I think that's my true limit. At least with this current editing software I have is about 34 minutes. Because I can render up to 2 gigs, like, for the file size of it. But for some reason after 2 gigs and if I try to upload it to YouTube, it just doesn't work. At least it's up to 2, because actually one of the previous parts, um, I believe it was like part 95, I want to say. Um... That was like just exactly two gigs and I was afraid it wasn't going to upload because anything that's like just over it has trouble with the upload for some reason. Not that it takes a while, I, I would understand it, but like the upload just doesn't work. Like it ends up just screwing up after it's uploaded, which I hate, but you know, I mean it's probably the file format I render at. But I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, yeah, I need to upgrade. <laughs> um, it's just like I don't know. Let's just fight the Xanadu Gooders. Um, I guess I am admiring her wings. Are you guys ghosts or something? Oh, you're. It's a tribute. This is just a tribute. You gotta believe me. And I wish you were there. Just a matter of opinion. I love Tenacious D. Oh god, he's using water bombs. It doesn't do much. <laughs> oh god, thunderstorm. Okay, so we're getting a decent challenge now. I guess that's good. I mean, now it's taking a little bit longer to kill these enemies, but... With all these crits I'm getting, I doubt it would matter. Big Daddy. Who, who should I go with? I think I'll go with the Nightingale. Ooh. Ooh, no. Ooh, yeah. 
Um, it doesn't really matter who I go for at this point, because one of them is going to perish. Hopefully. Actually, I doubt any of them will. Just because, like, it's rank A and stuff. Okay, um, let's actually use... No, no, no. Use Nightingale. Ah, crap. Really? No. You did not... He just healed himself. Mm. Quit. Oh my god, that only did 70 damage. Oh my god, yes. Take him out. Take him out, Sap Dragon. Oh, on the crit. Oh, what now, sucker? Yeah. I really wish the Sap Dragon could level up in here, though. That would be awesome. But it was never meant to be. You spewed it bolted. Who are you guys? Are you guys like in Ding Dong Dell or something? Bella Cost? Who is that? What is that? Is that like the freaking alternate universe or something? Oh, oh, this battle shouldn't be bad. I have a feeling that Astra will overpower everything. And am I still casting? Yes. Uh, okay. That only brings down my mat my physical attack, so I can wait this out. Um, does Astra work? It definitely works on the Hog Goblin! In fact, it worked so well. I'll go ahead and cast it again. I mean, it'll take out the Grim Paler and the God Forsaken. That's what I meant, if I said something different. And... They're down. And it actually did more damage than I thought it would. Awesome. Uh, let's just wombo combo it, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God, I'm only doing 11. Is that... Okay, I think Cosmo's doing 38. I can't tell. Oh, God, another foul breath. It doesn't really matter. Because I'm already... A f what is Oliver doing? Where'd he go? He was like... Where'd he go? He's like completely off the screen. Normally they stick around, but not this not this time. Not this time. Oh boy. So one more round of rank A. And then uh it's on to rank S. Rashad! I remember this guy actually giving me trouble. Like when I was about level 60 something, maybe low 70s so yeah let's see what has he got oh he's got these guys how did this give me trouble this, unless they're like pokey r us or something familiar us okay eh, about fifth uh, about a hundred damage a cycle that's okay it's not terrible um, kind of want to use Astra, though, just to make things a little bit quicker. And to also see if they're weak to light. If they're continuously weak to light, then I'll go ahead and do it some more. And the Hoggle Boggle is. But it, uh, I think it's worthy of another Astra. Just to, because I mean... It doesn't matter about the MP right now. It's the last round. So I'm just going to cast it again. Possibly, I might be able to take out the Greater Nyad, actually. If I can, that's pretty good, because I believe it has the ability to heal. And that would not be good. And I did. Sweet. Um, Go all out, guys. Let's do this. Defeat the Honky Tonker. Sweet, there we go. There's the 90 damage I've come to know and love. In one attack. That there, there we go. That that should do it. Oh, it did. Snap. OP. All right. So, what's our reward this time? Even more guilders. I I ought to be able to finish this with a max of nine minutes. Maybe even within five. Hopefully, hopefully I can. Do I get anything special from you? No. Okay.
Okay. What's my reward, though? Is it a good piece of armor? Or is it a crappy piece of armor? A heart of the muse? That's like... That's an ingredient. For, like... Something. I think it's an ingredient. Is it? Or is it a key item? I don't know. It's a key item. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is for, actually. Um, let me try this. Um, this, and I think one of Esther's, uh, like, I thought one of Esther's, like, things was, like, let me just, let me just see what this does. Because I feel like it's got to mix with something, but I don't know what. Because, like, it's the same thing with the Riddle Rivet. And the CADS claps, they're both used for handguns, but I don't... I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. It is time for rank S. Yes, I can handle it. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to have to stop the part here. Um... I kind of want to do some grinding off-screen. I know it may seem crazy being... Level 80, level 84, and all that. But, I need it. Because, round 3 of rank S is difficult. Because, Esther usually ends up dying by round 2. And then, since it doesn't auto-heal, I get screwed over. And, another thing is like, if that's round three, I'd hate to see round four at my current level. And I'm sure Marcuson would die by the time I'd get to rank four. I mean, round four. So, yeah. I'm going to give it a little bit of time. Um, going to head to the Ivory Tower to get some levels really quickly. Because that's where the toke is. Now, some might consider it quick, some might not. But, like, it kind of is. It's quicker than just battling enemies for five hours, you know? I mean, granted, I might have to wait five hours until I see a Dakota Cold, but it'll be worth it. So, I'm just going to fight one on screen just to show what it's like because it, it can be tough. And in fact, one thing I'm going to do um, is give Cosmo the hot blooded badge okay I can't never mind in that case I might end up having to fight with the sap dragon because of the increased movement speed and all um for those who have no idea what a Dakota cold is it's another way to get experience so quickly the best way to get experience in the game uh hands down I mean it's it is um, the only problem is it only shows up in the ivory tower and it can be really annoying to spawn. In fact, I think it's worse than trying to get the golden honky tonk to appear just because of the fact that these enemies are worse to be honest. So I'll meet you guys when I find one.